Hi, and welcome back to my kitchen. My mother was famous for cutting recipes out of magazines and newspapers, and anytime she found something that she was interested in, she would cut it out. And this is one of her cutouts right here, I believe it is. I'm not one to do that. I buy books. She just took an interest in anything she saw that she thought she might want to fix. Well anyway, today we're going to make an easy and quick chicken pot pie. This is a 9 inch uh, pie plate. This is a pre-bought uh, pie dough and I put it down in there and fixed it. Also going in here is a 16 ounce uh, bag of frozen mixed vegetables. I, uh, I let them thaw out. So in a bowl, let me get this over here. In this bowl, I've got those frozen, veg frozen thawed vegetables. I've got uh, some chicken that I roasted and had left over I put um, I, it's up to you the recipe says six and three quarters ounce can so everything on this recipe is cans but I used frozen and fresh but you do what you want to alright so I put some some of that shredded chicken in here along with the um, mixed vegetables I put a ten ounce can of cream of chicken soup and you all know I don't like celery, but it calls for a half a teaspoon of celery flakes. And I don't know why, but I put them in there. I'm looking for it now so I can show you. It was really weird looking. What did I do with it? A funny looking. It's actually dehydrated flake celery. Well, I can't find it, and it doesn't matter. It's in a little jar like this, and uh, I just shook some in there. I'm not sure it was a half a teaspoon. The recipe also calls for a quarter of a teaspoon of uh, poultry seasoning and a quarter of a teaspoon of uh, ground pepper. Now the recipe didn't call for it, but I put in some about a half a teaspoon of um, this powdered broth base seasoning and it's chicken flavor. And I mixed it all up together. Preheat your oven now to 400 degrees. Do not be tempted to add any water or salt. The recipe didn't call for it, but I you know, probably the poultry seasoning and the um, that chicken base has probably got some. So all I'm going to do is pour this bowl that I, of stuff that I've mixed everything together. I'll pour it in this pre-baked. Not it's not pre-baked. This frozen pie crust that I let thaw out and. put into the pie. So everything gets mixed in here except of course the pie crust. They don't get mixed in. Alright, so there it is. It looks like plenty to me. I told you already, preheat your oven to 400. Oh, and I meant to tell you I had about a half a can of water chestnuts in the refrigerator and I just dumped them in too because I didn't want them to go bad before I used them again. So here's our little pie. All I'm going to do now is put the second half of the the second pie crust on top of it. Oh, I forgot a step. Leave it to me. I 
I'm going to take my fingers and dump them in this water and go around the edge of this pie crust here. Get it all. Because we want this top crust to stick. And it's just, I don't know, it feels so. Can't describe it. Anyway, there goes the top one. Oof. And it says to just fold this under. And it might have said fold it over. I don't know. I'm used to folding under. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to fold it under all the way around. These pie, this um, pie dough feels a little dried out and stiff. I haven't left it out, you know, very long. I was just um, getting it unthawed for this recipe. Oh, here we go. This top pie crust is actually a name brand. I won't say the name. And the one that I put on the bottom is not. It's a store brand. And believe it or not, the bottom one actually did better than the name brand one. So, I, I don't, I think that's pepper on there. Anyway, you're supposed to crimp it a little bit, and I guess that's what I'll do. It's not hard to do. We'll just crimp it some. I'm not going to make a big issue out of it. I'm going to pop it. As soon as I get through with this, I'm going to pop it right into that 400 degree oven and it's going to bake um, 45 to 50 minutes. I, I'm also going to cut slits in the top. And when all that happens, I'm going to get through crimping this, then uh, we'll be back. All right, we're back. My chicken pot pie is done. It took between 45 and 50 minutes for mine to uh, get to this point. The crust got a little brown on me, the um, fluting part, but I don't think it got brown enough that it hurt anything. We're going to cut into it, still hot, and Sam is here. I'm going to cut him a nice big piece. That's not too big. It's pretty big. <laughs> this is a pretty big piece right here. We're going to let him taste it. See what he thinks about it. Oh my goodness, look at that pie. Let me zoom in. Can you see? Oh! <laughs> well... He's going to get part of a piece anyway. Maybe we need to get a spoon. No, it shouldn't have done. I tilted it. But that's okay. We'll, we'll get it out of here. And get it on your plate. You need a spoon. I've got you a fork. It's actually... Oh my goodness. It looks wonderful. It smells wonderful. I think that... Um, um, poultry seasoning probably added a whole lot to it. I'm sorry I messed that up, guys, but I've got my chicken and all my vegetables in here. Let me get Sam's piece out decently. Sure looks pretty, all that color. And here's his plate. And let's just see what he thinks. 
Well, I'm gonna back off a little bit on this pie. I'm not gonna eat with my fingers. Or... Oh, sorry. Oh, it's pretty hot. It is hot. It is hot. But for a chicken pot pie, you tell me what you think. You want a napkin? Mm. Very good. Very got, good. Very good. It's got. Let me taste this crust. Now that's not homemade crust. That is. Um, yeah, it's delicious. It's, I believe it's got KFC's meat. Very good. <laughs> I hope it's got KFC's beaten. But I hope you all give this pie a chance that you'll take the time to make it because you see there's nothing to it. Very healthy. All these vegetables it's got to be. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to straighten it up for y'all, but I may not be able to. It's still so hot. I waited the 10 minutes. I may have should have waited longer in any case it's a delicious pie what is that is it good Sam? it's delicious all right fellas all right all my folks out there give this a try and i hope you like it let me know it's a quick and easy pie chicken pot pie. It serves eight people. And um, I hope you try it and love it. Let me see if I can get in look any closer. Not that that helps any. Thank you for coming in today and spending part of your day with me. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. And until next time, you take care.